The realistic polarizer model, denoted by RPM in ASAP, was added in ASAP 2008 to describe a dichroic realistic polarizer. The RPM keyword defines the device. There are several defined here. And the interface polarization keyword assigns it to an interface, much as coding models were assigned in ASAP previously. This system is a Maltese cross lens tester, which is used to uh, indicate a well-hardened isotropic material lens. We put it between two crossed polarizers. So we have a polarizer here and a polarizer here with the lens in between. And we are going to observe the transmitted light pattern on an output screen. We expect to see a Maltese cross pattern, and indeed we do. So we have a source, an input polarizer, that's RPMH, an output polarizer, that's RPMV, enclosing the lens with the transmitted pattern showing the Maltese cross. Just to show you a simpler system, let's take a look at just an individual realistic polarizer model, or RPM, and see how it affects a circularly polarized input. So the input is circularly polarized. The polarization is 45 degree linear, and indeed, we get linear polarization out. One of the features of this model, which is incredibly useful, is that it works even for extremely wide-angle beams. So a high NA version of the same beam is also modulating the polarization to produce linear output states. In this case, we see that the, the center state is the same 45-degree state that we saw before, but all of the other output states at very wide angle are also linear states transformed into that specific raised trajectory. Another feature of this realistic polarizer model is that it can conformally map the polarizer into the device's surface coordinates. In this case, we have two semi-cylindrical lenses back-to-back with conformally wrapped linear polarizers, and it's crossed on axis, but not perfectly crossed off axis. And we're going to send a beam through it and take a look at an output screen. And again, since this is a realistic polarizer model and they are crossed polarizers, we expect that we will see some form of Maltese cross. In this case, because of the polarization aberrations that come as a result of being on a cylindrical surface, we expect the Maltese cross to be distorted. And as we look at several points in the output beam, we'll see a Maltese cross evolve as we go a little further away from the last lens. And taking a look at that in the 3D viewer, again, we have the crossed cylindrical lenses, and these have conformally wrapped diagonal polarizers. And we have evaluated in one, two, three output planes. And the final output plane is a Maltese cross, but a Maltese cross that is aberrated because of the cylindrical symmetry of the polarizers that were used to produce it. In summary, the RPM is a very flexible and realistic model which describes real dichroic polarizers at very high NA and conformally wrappable for non-planar optics.